Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. I'm doing a pearl board today. This is my satin enamel base coat consistency. It's very thin and here is my recipe. It's also in the description box below. So on this one, I kind of want to go back to using the uh, interference gold but I decided to mix it with a little bit of Modern Masters um, Pale Gold because Modern Masters has a tendency to pearl very well. So um, I wanted this one to, to have nice pearls. The Interference Gold tends to keep the pearls from popping up. So I mixed in just a very little amount of that and a little amount of the Pale Gold just to kind of give it that really nice radiance in the background and the pearls. So I am going to lay down the base coat here uh, and then I am going to be doing a Dutch pour. I'm going to be using um, this recipe that I'm using is my normal Dutch pour paint as well as puddle pour paint recipe. 50% Floetrol, 50% GAC 800 is my pouring medium. And then I add paint and, and water to get it to a thin um, consistency. Now, a lot of times people will ask me, like, what is a thin consistency? And for me, a thin consistency is when you pull your stir stick out of your cup one inch above and it either pours right back into the cup or it makes a divot. Now with my Dutch pour colors, I tend to have them a little bit thicker than my base coat, my satin enamel base coat. My satin enamel base coat is always super, super thin. It will leave a indentation when held, when you hold the, the stir stick one inch above the paint. So there, that consistency is always super thin. Well, my Dutch pour consistency is if you take a, a Floetrol uh, and GAC 800 and do a one-to-one -one ratio and then add in just a little squirt of a golden fluid color, that is my consistency. That is the consistency I use to gauge all the rest of my paints. So. If you're looking for a good consistency on uh, your Dutch pours, that is a tip that I usually give my students is to mix up just a little bit of that. And then even if you don't use golden fluid paints, even if you just have that on hand to gauge the rest of your paints by, it is literally probably one of the best tips I have for you guys uh, for consistency it leaves like no trace it, it sinks um, right away it may not it may not like leave a divot but it will flow right back into your cup so if you're struggling with your Dutch pour consistencies give that a try because literally it is what Turn, like I was trying so hard with Dutch pours and I was having such a hard time and I just so happened to use this pouring medium that I had seen Kathleen Osmore use uh, with her um, swipes. It was the 50% GAC, 50% Golden, uh, I'm sorry, Floetrol, and then your paint and her swipes. Um, and I was using that um, very early on and I just so happened to try it for a Dutch pour and it worked perfectly and what I like about it is that the Dutch pour doesn't shift too much and that's one thing that I am not a big fan of with Floetrol is that the it won't hold cells very well if you use too much with just the paint um, and it will continue to flatten and shift, which I'm not a big fan of. So um, I find that this consistency holds my paints, my cells 
perfectly and I don't have that issue. So here's the wet results, guys. I'm going to show you the dry results as well for this one. I hope you like it. This actually, I use the same colors on this painting as I did on my last painting, the Dutch Pour. Um, I just uh, did a little bit um, different with the pearl background, but I have a couple other things that I'm going to be doing with this. I have a big one that I'm going to be um, doing soon to 24 by 48 in these colors. I'm just really digging these colors right now. So um, I hope you like this. Please, uh, if you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new video. And I uh, will be teaching this uh, technique at the Fluid Art Experience in Dallas, Texas this summer, July 21st through 23rd. Um, please check out my dad's videos, his uh, channel, DJ Fluid Arts. He's got some new abstract works that he's working with. And um, check out my new website. It is finally live. I am slowly but sure, slowly but surely adding content to uh, the website. So check it out, www.piecesoftarotartistry.com. And that's all I got for you today, guys. I'm um, happy that you stopped by and I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.